To draw this awesome donkey, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen, and some white paper. Let's get started. We're going to start off our donkey nice and simply with a circle, just here on the left-hand side of the page. So, if you want to draw around something or use a compass, please feel free. You could use a tub, or if you want to learn how to draw a circle freehand, there'll be a link in the description below. As you can see, mine isn't very accurate, it's quite rough. And that really doesn't matter. Remember to draw quite lightly in pencil. These are just our preparatory lines. Okay, so slightly to the right hand side, I'm going to be drawing a larger circle. And this circle is going to be a little bit lower than the previous one. So, I'm going to produce the front part of the donkey. There we go. So donkeys are members of the equity family, and that inclu includes, sorry, <laughs> that includes horses and zebras. And they look a lot like their cousins, but they've got long floppy ears and they're a lot stockier. All right, so there's our second circle. Now I'm going to be drawing a line going upwards, just diagonally like this. I'm gonna start about halfway through this circle. So I'm gonna go up like that. And then I'm gonna stop there. And then going to draw a straight line going upwards. Just like that. Now, starting here, I'm going to be drawing a line, going diagonally as well, up to there. And then, I'm going to be drawing another diagonal line, like that. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. Then there's a line coming downwards to create a sort of triangle shape, just like this. And this is gonna be the donkey's head. Can you see it taking shape now? Okay, I'm going to draw the back, so just joining up these two circles along the top. Just a very, ever so slightly curved line, can you see that? And then the same on the bottom, again, an ever so slightly curved line. Just like that. Now for the legs, so I'm going to be measuring the front leg, just using my fingers. So it's going to be the same length as that big circle, so just a line starting here coming downwards, so I'm just going to measure again, coming downwards to there, and I'm just going to draw a little square at the bottom, that's going to represent the hoof, just like that. Then another one to the right hand side, this one's going to be slightly shorter, because it's the other leg. So I'm going to draw a little triangle on the bottom of this one, just like that. And now for the hind leg, so starting here, this one's going to be ever so slightly curved comes down. I'm just going to measure across, so just at the top of this one I'm just going to draw a very faint line. That's going to be where this hoof finishes, just like this. Okay my lovelies, we're going to start off with the head which is this triangular part here. So coming out from this top point, that's the tip of the head, we're just going to draw a line just coming to the right hand side of that triangle that we did before. Then just going to draw a couple of lines, just dashes like that, coming downwards. It's going to represent the fur. Now, from here, I'm going to be drawing a line coming downwards. There we go. Just like this. And upwards like that. Now for the bottom lip. So a line like this, coming out and then going upwards. Then we're going to follow this line that we did before. I'm just going to add some little dashes in this line. And going up. Now you may wonder why I've switched to pen. Please don't feel that you have to switch to pen as well. I've only switched it to pen so that you can see it better on camera. So I advise doing all this part in pencil and then going over it in pen. Okay, I'm just drawing the nose now. A little line just there around the mouth. Now we're going to be drawing the eye. Just here. And I'm going to leave a little tiny slither of light there just to show that there's some light. 
and then just some dashes around it. This is to show that this area is in white. Excellent. Now we're going to draw these amazing floppy ears. So just underneath where we started, just there, I'm going to start the ear. It's going to come up and just tilt off to the left hand side. And then we're going to bring it curved around and down. Now I'm going to draw the inside. So coming up and round, just like that. And a couple of furry bits show that's really hairy inside and then now for the other ear just poking out from the other side there we go just like this comes around and inwards so we're going to carry on so this is the crest just behind here so I'm just gonna follow the line that we did before all the way along the back following these pencil lines that we did before. So male donkeys are called Jacks and female donkeys are called Jennets or Jennies. Follow this line all the way to there. Now for the rump, so it kind of sticks out a tiny bit here and then comes downward. And here we're going to stop following our preparatory lines because we're going to do the leg. So this preparatory line goes through the center of the leg. So on either side, we're going to be drawing the leg. So just follow along with what I'm doing now. So there's the knee area just here. It comes all the way down and outwards here. A couple of tufts here. And then we'll be drawing the hoof, just like that. And then it comes upwards here, a little bump there, follows the line that we did before, goes slightly outwards here, and then upwards to the circle here. So now we're going to be doing the front leg. So to the left hand side of this center line, we're going to start the front leg, which actually starts a little bit higher up here. There's a big lump there, and then it comes downwards and then a bulge for the knee area. Another bulge down here, like that. And then now for the hoof. So there's the front hoof. There's another bulge on here, more, and then the other side of the knee area comes outwards like this. And then we just follow it all the way upwards, like so. We're then going to carry on this circular line that we did before, the preparatory line. So we follow that for a little way, then we follow the neck, then we're going to draw the muscle for the other shoulder on the other side, like that. And then the top of the other front leg is going to start here. It's going to come downwards. Again, the knee area goes inwards. Another bulge. Comes down. There we go. Goes upwards. You can't see the other bit to there. But we're going to be drawing the hoof. And it comes down. And then the tummy, so starting here, we're just going to follow that line that we did before, but it's going to go higher. So here, just draw a couple of dashes, just like that. Now for the hind leg, so just peeping out from behind here, we're just going to see a little bit of it. Just like that. And then starting just here, we're going to see the back of this one as well. You can't see much of it. There we go. And then now for the tail. So just peeping out from behind here. I'm just gonna draw lots of longer lines just to show the tail. They're kind of curved, just like this. So donkeys can live for over 50 years and they're very strong and intelligent with incredible memories. So they can recognize other donkeys and areas that they'd seen up to 25 years ago. Just incredible. Make this a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go over it several times. Like that. 
Now for the mane. So they don't have long, long manes like horses, but they do have manes. So I'm just going to start it up here. go. So their reputation as stubborn comes um, from their highly developed sense of self-preservation. So it's very difficult to scare a donkey actually. There we go. Okay, so now we've finished all the basics. If you're doing it in pencil, now's the time to go over it in ink and then erase all the pencil lines. We're now going to add some details. So I'm just going to draw a line just coming down here. And then some little dashes for the mouth. Okay, I've raised all my pencil lines now. Okay, we're just going to add a little bit more black to the mouth area. So I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. Their muzzles are quite dark. There we go. A couple of little dots really closely together give the impression of being a little bit darker there. There we go. I'm also going to add some darker areas to the tips. And to the ears down here. On the other side. Now, just to make it a little bit more furry, I'm just adding lots of little curved lines like this. go. Now for a little bit of shadow just underneath here. And there's a lot of shadow here. I'm going to add some shadow underneath this leg. I'm just using a series of lines next to each other. Bit of shadow on the front of this one. And also a little bit of shadow underneath the tummy. Behind this front leg. this leg as well. I'm going to add a little bit of cross hatching on this one so that's where you do lines in the opposite direction so I've done diagonal lines in that direction and now I'm doing them in this direction. Same on this one. This just creates a darker effect. Just like that. Now for a little bit on this one. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the hoofs. So one like that. And then obviously we've got to put in some ground. So draw a little bit of shadow underneath the donkey. Draw some grass. Kind of nice messy grass, show that it's actually standing somewhere, not just floating. 
as you know if you watch a lot of my tutorials I don't like my animals just floating in the air they've got to kind of be in contact somewhere go and here's our finished donkey if you've enjoyed it check out this video you're gonna absolutely love it and i hope to see you on the next one take care bye bye